Well, good afternoon, folks. I believe today is the second day of March. That day has importance to me because that was uh, my wedding anniversary. Funny thing about it, uh, 18 years later, it was the same day we got divorced on. So uh, that's the significance of March 2nd. But uh, Alabama farmer wanted to see the see a picture of the 4020 that we swapped to 4624 and there she sits in all her glory she uh, half raggedy looking but it ain't nothing that can't be fixed it's missing some panels and I hopefully the fella that we swapped the other tractor to will uh, bring us the panels eventually if he don't I might have to go get them so uh other than that, uh, soybean farmer, I told him I was building some battery boxes for it and what I was doing, so he kind of wanted to see what I was doing, so I uh, got the left side fixed, and I got it mounted on the tractor. As you can see, it's uh, basically a battery tree, and that goes right with my... Uh, frame of thought that I don't like batteries in boxes so and I'm also a fanatic for uh, stud post batteries when I was in the trucking industry I found out that basically that's what most of the over the road trucks use is those uh, stud post batteries because uh, they're easier to change they're uh, aren't as maintenance intensive uh, you can these right here, they ain't got nothing but a little copper eyelet that fits on a post on the battery. And you screw it on with a with a 3 8 nut or a special nut that comes with the truck usually. But usually you lose them things, so you have to use... Me, I use silicone bronze nuts. I worked on uh, pallet jacks and forklifts when I worked with a food service company. And most of the electrical screws, bolts, and nuts on those things... Or silicone bronze because uh, they just seem to stay tighter and last longer so that's what I I bought me a box of silicone bronze 3 8 nuts and on all my electrical connections on my starters and stuff like that that's what I use so I'm gonna give you a little picture of how this how this battery box works I've got two nuts down underneath it that are bored through you see that it'll lean out just like just like the regular John Deere battery box and the nice thing about that is you can you can don't have to really fight the battery to get up underneath there so that is what I did to the stock mount I used the stock John Deere mounts and I took a piece of two by two by one quarter thick angle iron got it in and got it plumb and where batteries would sit level when when the uh, other piece of angle was placed on the top so when it fits in there, it fits in there and the two bolts go in through the bottom and when you when you tighten them down it pulls it rigid then when you get the battery set in it That is the hole down that goes over the top of the battery. And we got two rods that secure the, secure the battery to the tree. And once you get it in there, the way I, I took run a level across the, the two studs on the floorboard, and I got about an inch and a half between the top of the post and the bottom of the floorboard. So that gives me enough room to it don't it leans out where you can put the battery in it. And I'm gonna build one for the right side. But I got to get this one on and get it hooked up and see how it works and then I'll I'll use the same uh, blueprints to build the one on the right side. You 
can see it. It's going to take a little cobbling before. Uh, that's the piece that goes across. That's, that's the bottom of the battery tray. It's 13 inches. Those batteries are 7 inches by 13 inches. And this one, I might have to put a spacer right there, front and back, to move that battery out just a, just a little so that the battery won't rub up against that that uh, transmission shifter shaft. But if that comes, that, that's just uh, just a minor setback. But uh, that's what I'm up to, folks. If anybody wants to know anything, all they got to do is put it in the comments because I'll be I'll be more than happy to share any information I got. I'm not a I'm not a uh, I don't once I get to learn something I like to pass it on because that's what it's got to do. So the old 4020 looks like it'll it'll we can use it more than we could that 46 because that was a bigger tractor and it just didn't go for light work. Anyway, you folks take care and look for me when you see me.